Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 SE. Now the most notable features on the SE is its heated front seats, its power moonroof, as well as its blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 SE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SE model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look just over on the side, you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your black mirrors, your foldable mirrors, and then you have your vortex generators. And one of the nice things with the SC models, it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you have the key fob on you, just put your hand between the handle here and you can unlock the front door for you as well. So as long as you have the key fob on you at all times, you'll be able to unlock and lock the vehicle like that. You have your roof rack, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Galactic Aqua. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. You also have your orange accent stitching. On your left hand side, you're going to see your mirror controls with your lane departure alert, heated steering wheel, all wheel drive lock, and power lift gate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, Bluetooth mode select, you also have your voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display, and your cruise control. Now the other nice thing with the SC models, it does have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look on the screen here, you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a distance to empty, eco indicator, all wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning control. And then scrolling through, you can also go through your navigation, audio, lane departure alert messages, and then your settings for your lane departure alert pre-collision system. And then when you turn on your blind spot monitoring, it'll actually just light up on the side of the mirrors there. And then you can adjust a couple of other additional settings in here as well. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options including your hazard lights. And then over on your right hand side you're going to find your traction control on and off. And the other nice thing is, is you have those indicator lights for your rear passengers. So parents if you're worried about your kids not buckling up, uh, buckling up their seatbelts, sorry, uh, that indicator light won't actually turn off until they've actually done so. Now heading into the apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You have your dual zone climate control settings along with your front and rear defroster. Down below you do have your eco and sport mode along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary, and two power outlets. Matted to a automatic transmission, at the very top you'll find your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and your digital compass. And at the very top you'll find your open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside as well as your visor extenders. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and you'll open it, or it'll open up, sorry, automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. One of the nice things with the SE model is it does come with the tonneau cover in the back. So the nice thing with that is that you can actually cover up your valuables just while you're going from store to store just so people can't see what you have back there. Now if you do need the additional space you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat and then you also have some under the floor storage just located at the very front here. And then taking a look underneath the floor you'll find your spare tires, well as your jack and your toolkit. But the nice thing about the space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So if you need it afterwards when you're uh, moving a couple of things then you just have to grab it underneath the floor rather than having to uh, grab it out of the garage. Now the thing I like with the SC models, it does have that power adjustable lift gate. So if you need it set a little bit lower, you can actually just push down on the button at the height you want it at, hold it down for approximately two seconds. It'll beep a couple of times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. Now if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason, hold down on the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. 
Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.